Hello YouTube and welcome to my playthrough of The Walking Dead. Uh, this is a game I really wanted to try out for a while. I was hearing a lot of good things about it. Um, so I recently bought it when uh, Microsoft had a uh, sale for all the episodes for 800 Microsoft points, only $10. So I decided to buy it, and now, uh, because it was deemed one of the greatest, probably the greatest game of 2012, um, I'm going to play it with you guys. This is my first time playing through the game, so I'm going to probably <laughs> receive things as they come, and we're just going to see how good this game gets, because I've heard it gets really emotional based on choices and everything else in the video. So, let's start. Play on standard. Do episode one, because that's where it starts. Yay. Obviously, I have to comment during this because it's obviously a comment. So, that's how this is going to work. Hmm. Adapts based on the choices you make. It's an interesting thing. I hope the game goes through uh, the adaptions. Cleverly, but from what I've heard, it probably does so. So, on a new day. Looks like we're on the highway. Uh oh, did he get himself into this time? There's no joke I can't say right now that isn't racist. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Whatever I really want to know. If I mess up, I mess up. I'll try not to talk in dialogue. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Uh -oh. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent. A lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Any of that seem important to you? All of them. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. 
You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. <laughs> It goes and to here's show. the only thing People worse than hitting it in the air. When they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What's that? This other time. I'm sorry. But the way they made that guy just not fair to me. Myself out that window. Wonder how bad his legs injured. get the shotgun. I I do not Oh no. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with right, these I cuffs do on. Not trust this. leg must be pretty badly. I, I'm sorry guys, I just do not trust corpses on the ground in a zombie game. It's just way too easy. Well, we got a shotgun shot, what are you doing? <laughs> Every instinct in me is telling me do not inspect that dead body. To carry with these cuffs off. Every instinct in me is telling me not to go near that cop. Officer! But I'm gonna have to. It's probably a still moment. Officer! Right. Um. Yeah. There we go. 
Officer? Take off these cuffs first. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, he's like having the same thing I am right now. I don't even know if the zombies exist, but holy crap. There's something about dead bodies that makes people just freak out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shotgun? Shotgun? Shotgun now? Oh, don't do this now. Don't make me do this. God. Sorry for those who don't right care about the language. Like shit. What the hell is this? Go get someone! There's, there's been a shooting! Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh no. Move. Oh god, they're moving about the same speed as him. As them. As I know what you say. Oh, oh, oh no! Anybody up there? Try it one more time. Hello? Maybe. Anybody in there? Help! Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those yeah. things. Oh. I guess it's empty. One of those teacups was a Somebody! And here's the alcohol. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I'm not going out into the streets right now. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? 
anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Coming in. Really no Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. These people like, might need more help than I do. God. The sheer magnitude. Guess I should have expected that. Oh, I hear an answering machine. See if I can scrounge anything useful. Your radio. Hold on a minute. What's that beeping? Hmm, the Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Nothing useful on any of these. Ooh, he's thirsty, isn't he? You should probably drink the water, though. Careful, Bobby. There we go. There are three new messages. Three new messages. Message one. Message at 5 p.m. There are three new messages. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. This 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to call Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm yes. Lee. I don't know where anybody is. How old, How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Okay. Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? See? Can you see me? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? 
I can see you through the window. Stand up, character. Go A button, go B button. Oh, 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 Worst time to fall and hit your head. I think you traumatized the little girl now. Man. Hi there. Man. Did you kill it? Hi there. Yes. It's okay. I Did you kill it? I think so too. Yes. It's okay. I yeah, think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Oh. Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Yeah, it's not safe at night. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Alright, well... Let's go. Stay close to me. That's it for episode one. I think I went a little long there, but I can fix that in future episodes. So, I hope you're enjoying the adventure so far. So, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. See you guys later. Buckle Supreme out.